Welcome to the Projects tab demo. In this demo, we will go over to the different ways to search for projects using this tab, and how you can also narrow down your results, combining it with other tabs in the Aegis Viewer. I'll go to the Location tab, and select District 1 so we won't return quite so many results. So now we'll head to the Projects tab, and I will select the All Projects up here at the top. And then we will head over to Search and take a look at our results. Okay, so here are my results, and as you can see we got a large number, which was not unexpected. In clicking on Details you will see a lot of information, which you can search individually for in the Project tab, so we will move on and go ahead and do that now. First of all, I will clear the mapped points and results using the eraser here at the top. Okay, so heading back to the Project tab, you can see there are multiple ways to search. I will go over just a few of them. The first item, I will just enter a project ID. I actually have already entered this at one point in the past, so it will allow me to pick the selection, and I'll just go ahead and head over to search. Okay, and here is that specific project that's mapped. So next I'll search by project name, I'll just enter that here, but make sure you clear out the other criteria that you don't want to add. You can either clear it out individually, or you could also use the reset button here at the bottom. If you do not get the results that you expect, I would recommend checking your criteria just to make sure you don't have something that you did not intend to select. Okay, so here are my results. Again, just something to remember. This was not a location search, but rather a name search. So any project including I-26 in the name will be included in these mapped results. I'll go ahead and take a look at the details. And you will notice it behaves in the same fashion as the others we have already looked at. I would like to narrow these projects down to a specific lighting date, so I will do that by using these boxes to plug in a date range. Okay, so here's my date range in the criteria section, and I'm ready to update that search. And here are those new mapped results. Just a reminder that you can use this checkbox if you'd like to remove a criteria temporarily. If you would like to delete a criteria completely, just select the X next to that item. And as we go back to the Projects tab, you see that the letting date criteria has been completely eliminated. Okay, so now I will combine a project query with a few other criteria. First, I will start by looking for active projects. Then let's head over to the Road Inventory tab, and I want to see routes that are federal aid eligible. I'll go ahead and select Yes from that dropdown. Moving over to the Traffic tab, I will look for routes greater than or equal to 10,000 AADT. Okay, so now you can see all my criteria. Just to recap, we were looking for active projects, on routes which are federal aid eligible and a factored AADT of over 10,000. And here are my mapped results for that criteria. And as you can see the results over here on the right. And that will conclude this demo. Thank you for watching.